Hi everyone, it's me Rose Mix and I receive a lot of comments and questions what fish I included to my female beta tank. So this is Marineland 5 Gallons Aquarium and this is my female beta. I bought her like a month ago and the lady said she is only I, I believe two months old as I remember so she is still young and so i bought her first and put it in the tank and i did a research what uh, type of fish i can include to her tank so i tried to get neon tetras and cardinal tetras so i bought uh, at first, I bought um, 10 Cardinal Tetras, but after a week, I found 4 dead Cardinal Tetras. So that is after a week. I'm not sure if my female beta chase them and eat them and bite them. I'm not really sure, but I found those 4 on the as you can see that one i found them there maybe the filter is too high so they stuck in there so that's the reason why they died and then after a week i decided to bought uh, five neon tetras so now i do have six cardinal tetras and i have five neon tetras and i decided to get five autosynclus i bought five autosynclus because they said autosynclus eat algae so i said i will try that so so far it's um over a month now going to two months and they are happy i never seen my female beta Goldie, my daughter named her Goldie. I never seen her chasing the other tetras or the autosynclus or bite them. I never seen her like that. So maybe um, I just got lucky that uh, my female beta is a good girl. <laughs> good girl. She is not aggressive so it's more than a month now and they are just swim they are happy you know and they are very healthy so this is only five gallons i bought this for my daughter on her birthday so i set up like this with lucky bamboo and um I forgot what is the name of this plant so look at them look at them and gold is there see she just ignored the tetras it's more than a month now I did observe her but I never seen her chasing the other fish maybe a little bit but not to the point that chasing and bite them no because i did a research that the tetras is like a school fish you know they just swim in group so if you will buy tetras make sure you will buy five tetras don't buy like four to one tetras no because they said um tetras need a group uh tetras in one tank so you need to get like five or more if you have um like 10 gallons and above make sure you will buy five or more tetras so i suggest um, just get cardinal tetras and neon tetras and autosynclus. It works great with my 
female beta they are happy and i do have a problem that one time because my water here is all over at the top and then all the fish is here and then they are like uh, reaching air so i did the research for that and they said i need to make sure that the water is not full and then the the filter is like that it's like uh the water is flowing like that so after i did this um they feel better and then they swim at the bottom so yeah if you experience like that just make sure the water is only up to here not full and then the water is like that okay the filter is like that so you can see there so look at look at them the autosynclus is there and then my female beta is on that side too no she is healthy look at her so yeah so if you have any questions just feel free to comment on my video yeah they live happy okay so for now bye bye the my daughter called them goldie and friends <laughs> every morning evening she will say good morning goldie and friends good night goldie and friends <laughs> so yeah so have a great day everyone bye bye